is your face is like really fascinating. Like, look, like, right here. Look like your little cheeks. I love, I love your cheeks so much. And then. particular sound to your scalp. Almost sounds like a mannequin head. Yeah. Whoa. Your eyes are like really, really pretty. Like, here, close your eyes real quick. No, people at school won't judge you for having colored eyelids. No, everyone here is kind of weird, you know. Like me, so keep your eyelids shut and then hey yeah I was kind of staring wasn't I sorry um I was just trying to see if you were new cuz this new face yeah I figured cuz I know all the faces at this school Quite literally, I've like touched all the faces at this school. Oh, the ones where people will allow me to. Yeah, usually I like to like. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to be better. Um, people say I don't have any boundaries, so. Um, is it okay if I touch your face? I. I usually like to touch people's cheek and their nose and basically just like all around their face. Mm -hmm. And also play with their hair. Oh, here I go again. I'm sorry. Um, can I touch your hair? Yeah. I've already like sanitize my hands and everything, okay? I'm very clean. Mm. Wow. You know, you have like a really interesting face. You're okay with me touching your face, like seriously? Okay. I'm so excited. Oh, it's just that you have a new face and I mean, touching like old faces, not like old people's faces, but like touching the same old faces gets kind of boring. So I love when there's like a new face. gonna massage your cheeks. You have like a really really like fascinating face. And um I wanna like play with like your eyebrows and your lashes and all that and like I um I brought my like tools you know like my little spoolie and like brush and everything and I just want to like play with your eyebrows and like your eyelashes only if it's okay with you of course yeah I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do better um, I like to um, play with hair and, like, look at people's scalp and stuff, uh -huh. because, like, scalps and hair are just, like, really different. Like, 
each individual person has like a really different scalp in here and I just like to like look at it and like learn from it, you know? Wow. I feel like you your hair and your scalp, I just I feel like there's gonna be a lot for me to like test and learn, you know, about. So is it okay if I like start to like look at your scalp? Yeah. Wow. Your hair is like have you ever known that like you kinda had like dry hair? I mean it's it's honestly not not dry. I mean, if I take a look at your scalp, like, it'll probably make more sense, you know? Yeah. You know Amy over there? Her scalp? Her scalp. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> I'm not supposed to, like, tell everybody's business, so... But yeah, that's, she kind of has something similar going on with, with you, so let me just start playing in your scalp, okay? So, I'm gonna start, like, looking at your scalp, um, and I'm gonna get back to, like, looking at your face. Because with your face, there's so much for me to, like, examine and, like, check out. But, like, right now, like, your hair has got me really fascinated, so I want to, like, check your scalp. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna start, okay? Okay, so... I'm just gonna look around. Honestly, your hair is not dry at all. Like, I don't think it's dryness. Look how, like, healthy your hair looks. Like, I'm gonna have to look closer, you know? I'm gonna have to take a closer look, but, like, wow. This is gonna be so fun. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to, like, clip your hair up and I have some tools that I brought along so let's get started so um I'm gonna start to look at your scalp uh I'm gonna use a tool and um just start to examine and then I'm actually gonna go back to your face because your face is like really fascinating like 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 your little cheeks. I love, I love your cheeks so much and then we still haven't like examined like your eyes and your eyelids and like your nose and your mouth, like any of that, so I'm just gonna start Wow Look at your hair I mean, it's not dry at all Um it actually looks quite healthy, but this light is like showing me, I don't know if you can see, but like you have a lot of stardust. Mm -hmm. Stardust, I mean, it's like dust particles. I like to call it stardust. And um, I'm gonna need to like pluck that out for you because if not, it can cause a lot of irritation. So, yeah, see, so. We just want to, like, get rid of all that stardust, um... Gonna do some tests on you. Okay, so, first, gloves on, so that I can take a closer look. And it doesn't really help anything, it's just kind of, like, part of protocol. I honestly would rather look at, like, scalps and, like, touch directly, you know? Just like I do with faces, like poke your 
your face like yeah I like to like poke poke your face massage your face like this yeah it's so squishy I love your cheeks like I'm obsessed with your cheeks oh my gosh no 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 not at all there's nothing wrong with it I, I just like to like poke 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 yeah but anyways back to your hair um, we're gonna start kind of like plucking any of the little stardust um, I do most of the plucking with like my hands and my tweezers, but sometimes I like to like pluck even with gloves. Oh my gosh. I don't even need to like clip your hair. Whoa. This is like literally so cool. Has, like, anybody ever told you that, like, your scalp is so awesome? I mean, I have touched many scalps. I would say 85% of the school before I learned about boundaries. Boundaries, boundaries, right? Um, but... So cool. Wow. This is like heaven for me. <gasps> Time to examine the sample. Oh, yeah, lots of stardust, and you also have yeah. And then I also see this little brown spot right there, which is mm, yeah. A lot of people have it. I can't disclose who, but really interesting. We're good here. <laughs> I'm gonna use this special tweezer right here and start plucking out your stardust, okay? I 
I get so excited every time and that like I get to do this though like let me like have my little moment you know it's like it allows me to like touch your eyebrows so oh this is so cool and like your eyebrows are like different you know like your eyebrow hairs yeah it's really really fascinating technique of like this like swirl method because it like really gets the stardust out we're gonna get right here in this area because you have like stardust like deep in here you know so Just gets it right on out. Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't hurt, right? Yeah, a lot of people think that, like, it actually feels good. <laughs> stardust is concentrated right in here so how do you like the school so far? I mean it is like your first class I know but you know how do you like it? Oh, you have a secret to tell me? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me get this piece of stardust. know these things, you know? Not much of a secret for a veteran like me. Okay, so we're done with this part. Um, yeah, not much stardust over there, but you have a lot over here, so we were able to, like, get that, you know? going to use this and this has this little brush thing right here so I'm going to run it through your scalp and you tell me when you feel it okay
good good now do the same thing with the scalp stick okay hair so much. Yeah. It's like really, really pretty. Honestly. And your scalp is really cool too. I bet you've never heard that. Your scalp feels scalpy. There's different levels of like scalpiness on people. <laughs> and some people have really hard scalps, and some people have like soft scalps, some people have dry scalps, and some people have moisturized scalps, oily scalps. Um, but yours is like. A little tiny bit dry. I actually have like the perfect little oil treatment. Like kind of relieve your dry scalp, you know? I can tell that like sometimes you have like oily scalp. I know, I know these things. I know these things. But right now, your scalp is like just a tad bit, a little bit, a little bit, uh, just a little bit dry. Yeah, but it's okay. It's like a really cool scalp. <laughs> I can come in with this. And then we can like start examining your face, okay? Because like, I'm really excited about like your face. Oh. sound to your scalp. Almost sounds like a mannequin head. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Your scalp sounds hard. Yeah, like a mannequin head. But it's not. <laughs> Because, like, your pupils 
Like, actually, your whole eyeball looks like one of those movie set eyeballs. You know, because it looks like hard and plasticky. Yeah, but I like really like your eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, I kind of got carried away. Um, can you just like follow this? I won't turn the light on, okay? But just follow this pen, and then I will look at your eyeballs, okay? Okay, perfect. Just follow that. I know I have a way of touching eyeballs where, like, it doesn't hurt, so... That was a trick one. Okay, just keep following the pen. Wow, your eyeballs are, like... I'm not touching, like, your actual eyeball, but can you close your eyes so I can, like, look at your eyelids? Yeah, I have this little uh, measuring thing right here on this pen, you see? So I'm gonna go ahead and like measure your eyelids because it looks like you have like a lot of eyelid space. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Lots of like, oh, it's so soft, but yet like firm at the same time. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and just measure that, okay? So I'm gonna, um, measure... You'd be surprised how some people have, like, uneven eyelids. Like, one side is, like, longer than the other. Let me see. Okay, this one is, like, a little bit longer than this side. Did you know that? I feel like you have more eyelid space over here than here. Let me check one more time. Because, like, I don't want to, like, tell you any, like, wrong info. You know, this is, like, critical information, you know? Let's see. Close your eyes for me. Um, I'm just gonna like press down really quick. To see something a little bit, a little bit longer than this one. It's so weird. Um, I noticed that your eyes were like really, really fascinating. I mean, like the color of your eye. Did you know that? No, it's not common at all. Like, I have better eyesight than the average human and like your eyes are like really really pretty like here close your eyes real quick oh my gosh yeah so like i'm just gonna look really quick like your eyes look really really common at first but if you like look closely right here I'm just gonna touch your eyelid when I touch your eyelid it turns like a different color I know it sounds weird right but like you have like amber like a light amber right here and then like you actually have specks of green and blue I bet you never knew that, huh? Yeah, you do. Like, your eyes are such an interesting, like, melting pot of different colors. It's so interesting. Oh my gosh. Close your eyes for me. Oh, I love that. And then your cheeks are so squishy. They're so squishy, squishy. They're so squishy. I love it. I love it. And, you know, I bet you didn't know that, like, you have freckles. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. There's like, um, it's invisible, okay? I'm just gonna count your freckles through you, okay? Is that alright? Yeah? Okay. One freckle right here. One, two, three, four, six,
you have um, more freckles. I know you actually do have freckles on your forehead. They're like microscopic, like very tiny. And like I said, I can like see, you know, more than like the typical human. My eyesight is just like really gifted. Um, so like on this half of your forehead, you have a ton of freckles, but on this side, you don't really have that many. I counted around like 15. But this side, you even have. Let me see. Oh my gosh, it's like countless. Yeah, it's really fascinating. Like, yeah, freckles. And then, let's see on this side, yeah. Okay, so you have an even um, amount of freckles on like this, you know, quadrant of your face and from the right and the left side. It's really cool. Okay, so, um, I have some markers. Um, is it okay if like I draw like on your face? It is? I like, I don't know, there's something like so, so special about your face. I just love like, touching it. <laughs> and like, I want to draw on it. I have three options. Um, do you want orange? Do you want magenta? Or do you want like this dark purple blue color? Magenta? Orange? Or blue? Purple, whatever. <laughs> you want magenta? Okay. Okay, close your eyes. I just want to like color in your eyelids. Yeah, I know. No, people at school judge you for having colored eyelids. No, everyone here is kind of weird, you know, like me, so. Okay, perfect. Just like keep your eyelids shut. And then, actually, I'm going to color this in, and then I'm going to color your other eyelid. A different color, so we're actually gonna use all of them. Just lower down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I love this color on your eyelids. It's like, mm, I don't know, it really brings out your eye color. And then, now I'm going to use the orange. Orange, orange. And the color, and close your eyelids. I'm going to touch. Okay. Color that in. Just like that. Just a little bit, nothing major. A little bit of color right there. And perfect. Hey, um, I just like really, really want to thank you for like letting me examine like your face and your scalp and like touch your face. Oh, I just like literally love it. And your eyes are like so beautiful. And your nose. Your nose is like, I didn't really get to examine your nose today or your mouth. Um, there's always next time, but, um, 
you have like a really unique shaped nose like I really love it and like honestly you have a unique shaped everything like I love it um yeah I hope you stay at this school so I can like keep like examining like your face and your hair and all that you know I know some people think like it's weird but like you know um, yeah, I think that, like, your eyes, 